The tomatoes, please. A nationwide salmonella outbreak has infected nearly 170 people from California all the way to Virginia. And now restaurants and stores right here in the Carolinas are taking action. Our mobile newsroom is in Charlotte with Alex Reed, and he has more for us now. Alex? Well, Sonny, not all the tomatoes are considered dangerous. The green tomatoes, for instance, are safe. It's the red Roma, red plum, and round red tomatoes like these that are considered dangerous. Now, as you can see at this farmer's market here in New Yorkmont, there's plenty of tomatoes and other produce, but you won't find any of these on the shelves at your local Harris Teeter or Walmart. Chipotle, Taco Bell, Qdoba. I heard there was something going on with the tomatoes, but I wasn't sure what. Burger King and Jason's Deli are among the restaurants which aren't putting tomatoes in their salsas or on their food. A drive through attendant at one restaurant told us today. They did a recall on the tomatoes and um, we're not going to sell them. The FDA has ruled out tomatoes from California as a source, but the agency is still investigating where the 17 state salmonella outbreak started. And people panic when they get reports like that, but I mean, it seems like people are buying tomatoes here. So. There was a mixed reaction from customers at a local farmer's market today. I don't know where they came from. And did you think twice before buying tomatoes today? Uh, it crossed my mind for a minute with all the reports on the news, but I went ahead and bought them anyway. No, and I'm safe with these tomatoes. These are local tomatoes. As for business, Growers say it's about the same. Well, they just only ask, you know, where they're from, tomatoes are from. They're just a little bit scared. Now, the FDA says homegrown tomatoes and those kinds of tomatoes with the vines still attached are safe to eat. And some restaurants and grocery stores have plans to get those safer tomatoes back on their shelves and menus as early as tomorrow. Reporting live from Charlotte, Alex Reed, Carolina's News Connection.